Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kissed by the way hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brianna I provide plus size beauty and lifestyle content if that's something that you're interested in go ahead and subscribe to my channel I love for you to enjoy the brief family as you can see from the title of this video we are going to be doing a natural quick beat look that this is my everyday look that I go to whether I'm running errands or if I'm going out or if I'm even just going to work um, I think this look is a whole vibe, so if you are interested in how I achieve this look, go ahead and stay tuned. Alright, so I have already done my brows, as you can see, off camera. Um, they were giving me a little bit of trouble today, but it's going to come together once we get this look together as a whole. We're going to go ahead and start off uh, with the face area. We're going to go ahead and apply the Milk Primer. It's gonna, I just squeezed out a tad bit of it. And I'm just rubbing it all on my face. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is apply my uh, foundation to my skin. I'm using the uh, Il Maquillage in the color 220. I absolutely love this foundation. If you see me looking up and look kind of looking in the viewfinder, just want to make sure I'm in focus. But um, my mirror is right behind you guys. So if you see me looking this way and not necessarily directly into the camera, that is why. I'm going to take my brush. Now, I'm not really um, familiar with the name of brushes, but this is just um, a Bistore brush I got from Amazon in a package. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all the way out. So now I'm going to go ahead and use uh, my Born This Way in the color Chai concealer over my face. Then I would go in with butterscotch and I would just apply that a little bit under the lid just to make it a little bit brighter okay. and then I'm gonna actually let that sit while I go ahead and um, wet my beauty blender and uh, then I'll come back and blend it out all right, so it's been a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out uh, with my beauty blender here. And then next thing I do from there is I'm going to go ahead and uh, bake my face. I'm using the uh, Laura Marcier powder in the color, um, what color is this? Honey. I'm actually almost out as well, so I'm going to have to get some more of her very soon. 
But with that same beauty blender, I just dab it into the um, powder and then I just start setting. So you'll see me applying a good amount of translucent powder under my eyes. Um, typically under my eyes, I crease a lot. So I typically put a little extra under my eyes just so I can get it to set really well. You'll also see me including this on my nose as well. And my forehead, um, those are the main areas that I typically get extremely oily at. So I try to do that to kind of like reduce the oiliness on my skin and I'll probably be also adding it onto my brows as well. Baked my face, I'm gonna let it sit for a bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually put some concealer on my eyelid. For this, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same Born This Way in the color Chai on my lid. And I, you only need a little bit, you just wanna dab it. Oh, I need a little bit more product than that though. Just gonna dab it on like that. And then I just take a flat brush And then I just dab it in. You could take a blending brush, whatever works for you. And then I'm also gonna set my eyelids as well with the same Laura Marcier and the color Honey Powder. And I normally just take a little bit of it and then I just dab it because I don't want too much product on my lid, but just enough to kind of set it. And then any access, I just kind of lightly dab it over my brows. Okay. And then while my skin is still baking, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place palette um, and I'm gonna be using the color Karufu. And I am gonna go ahead and start, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, applying that color on my lid. And I normally just dab a decent amount on the brush and apply it. I normally start with the lid first. I kind of pack on the uh, eyeshadow like so. And then once I feel like I have a good amount, which is typically me filling the entire lid with a nice saturated um, brown color, I then start blending and moving it upward. So it creates that... Um, Kind of like a soft, you know, smoky eye look. So just gonna keep going in that windshield motion as you see on the video, just until I feel like I've completely blended out the eyeshadow where there's no harsh lines or there's no extra product in certain areas. It's even all the way around the island. After I've done that and it's been a decent amount of time 
since my um since my powder has been baking on my face so now I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Sephora uh, micro smooth um, powder in the color Fonse deep absolutely love 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 this product it actually kind of brings that color back into my face after all this whitening that I put on it from the powder so I'm just gonna take some and just kind of dab it into my face I like to get rid of that little harsh line that's by my eye where the powder was and then I just kind of dab it in it kind of brings that color back into my face that I excessively extended the powder onto and then it kind of helps bring it into when it tones it down a lot Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my bronzer, and I'm using the color Trailblazer at the Morphe palette here. Oh, I love this stuff here. So, so good. Um, Tamara Renee turned me on to this, and it's, it's changing lives, it's, it's changing lives. So I'm just gonna go in with a regular brush here. So I've dabbed it in, and I just like to create this nice bronzy look here on my cheekbones dragging it from the top um, by my eye and bringing it down And then we're gonna go ahead and use our uh, blush, which I am gonna be using the Milani um, blush in the color Sheet Kiss. I'm gonna take uh, another brush here as well and blend. Let's go ahead and hit right here on the cheekbone. Okay, and if you ever put too much powder like I just did, or not powder, but too much blush like I just did on my face, you can go back in with the uh, Sephora um, powder and tone it down because it's, we're not about to look like a clown out here in the streets, okay? So I just take it and I just put a little bit on it just to kind of tone that down a little bit because we're not trying to be out here looking like that. Okay. All right, cool. So after I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes and my eyeliner, and then I'll be back to do my lip. So I went ahead and did my eyeliner off camera, and I put a little bit of mascara on, get ready to actually apply my lashes. Um, I'm using the Essence Big Lashes. Um, you can get this Walmart, you know, whatever local uh, drugstore, and then I just use the basic black. Um, pencil or not eyebrow pencil black eyeliner pencil that I got from the beauty supply um, now I'm using the elf uh, liner I'm not sure if it's gonna focus but you get what I mean the elf eyeliner um, also you can get it at a local drugstore And 
And one thing you definitely want to do when you're um, putting your liquid eyeliner on, definitely do your, I recommend doing the liner before you do the, before you put on the actual mascara so you're not getting, letting your actual mas your actual eyelashes get in the way. I cannot talk today. Um, get in the way, which it did because clearly I just messed up. So I will be fixing that. And I'm just going to be using some, just some regular eyelashes that I got from actually Shein. I will have the links to, to everything that I mentioned in this video um, in the description box below. So you can go ahead and check that out. And I also forgot to mention that I went ahead and I don't know if you can tell, but I um, went ahead and added that little, you know, little thing on the side, dragging from my actual foundation, or not my foundation, my um, my eyeshadow, uh, that Carufo color at the Juvia's Place palette. So all I did was take it and I just went down where it's motion on both sides just to give it that, you know, snatch nose look that the girls be doing and a little, you know, little swipe there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes really quick. from Essence and do my um, bottom lashes. Okay, I'm um, obviously definitely not a pro, but you know, I do okay, I do okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This mist is Amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on my face and then we're gonna go ahead and go get into the lip. Ooh, and it smells so good, y'all. Smells so good. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and do the lip. Alright, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and go and do the lip combo. I'm gonna be going in with my NYX matte lip liner and the Club Club Hopper, and then this uh, Mega Last Little Liquid uh, matte lipstick and the color Give Me Mocha. As you know, my lips look a tad bit more white in this clip than the earlier ones in the video. I initially applied the wrong lip combo, so I removed that and now I'm applying the correct one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, Elf Pumping Gloss and the color Mocha Twist and go over it. you guys so that is the end of this video I absolutely love how my makeup turned out this is pretty much the final look I hope you guys liked it as well go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if so and also leave some comments down below let me know if you like this look what you liked about it or if it's something that I did that you may possibly start incorporating your everyday look I love to chat about it with you guys also go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.